Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create Gerber files from HFSS design. So the softwares required for this process are ANSYS HFSS and DipTrace. Now let us consider here, uh, already simulated design here. Okay, so that has a radiating inset fit patch uh, with a bottom ground plane and the SIW vias. Okay. Now we have to export the ground plane, the top radiating plane and the VRs into DXF first. So to do that, let me just first delete some parts here and one by one we will take a DXF of each layer. So first let me just take a top layer here. So to do that, just select this substrate, delete. Select this lump excitation port, delete, and then select this ground and delete. Also, you select this VR and delete it. You can see now I have only the top layer which is a radiating element. So, next, what I have to do so, before I export this into DXF file, I should make sure that so it is lying on the XY plane because the importing of any structure will happen only with a XY plane in, the, in HFSS. So now it is lying in the XY plane. I can just go and I can export using this modeler. I just click on export. And here I will just create one folder in the desktop with a name. Uh, probably I'll give a new name here, new project folder I'm creating. So DXFs demo like this i'll give a folder name so let me just save here the top layer okay and the file type here we have to select for uh, saving is autocad dxf files that is dot dxf extension click on save now to get the bottom layer the next layer i'm going to extract is a bottom layer to do that so first let me just restore this device uh, design uh, by pressing ctrl z so once i pressed ctrl z i got back the vias again one more time i'll press i got back my ground layer one more time to get a excitation and i got a substrate also <clears throat> now since i'm interested in the bottom layer first i have to set this coordinate system to the bottom layer to do that what i do go to modular okay so here you just select a coordinate system and create relative coordinate system and make a offset you just bring your mouse cursor here and just click here such that you got a coordinate system shifted to the bottom layer okay so you can see that so now it is in bottom layer now what you do you just delete this substrate that is fr4 epoxy i'm deleting the substrate then i'm going to delete this vr then i'll delete this patch and excitation so now we can see here i have only the ground plane okay so now we can export this by clicking on modular Click on export and then you just type here bottom layer. And the file extension is .dxf. Just click save. Now we have to extract the vias into dxf. So to do, to do that, again I'll restore the design. Okay, control Z. I got back my excitation, got patch back, got vias okay so now i'll just retain only the via and i'll delete all other parts i'll just delete this ground i will delete this patch okay and i'll delete this uh, excitation also now you can see i have only the um, vias here okay so i have only the via so now you can just click on select this go to modular okay so just export and just save it as vr okay so click save 
Now we have exported all the parts. That is, we have exported the radiating element into DXF. We have exported uh, the ground layer into DXF and VRs into DXF. Okay. So first step is over. Now as a second step, we have to open this dip trace software and we have to import all the exported DXF files into dip trace tool in order to generate Gerber files. So let me just select here PCB layout. So once it is open, you can just go to file. Okay. So click on import. So click DXF and locate that file where we have saved. So here, this is the top layer. First, I'll click on this top layer, click on open. Okay. So you got a, a DXF file of the radiating element here. You just change this units into millimeters then import mode you just keep it in new and you have to convert this blocks into top layer so click on top here and you select fill closed area because this entire thing is going to be a uh, metal uh, layer so that is the reason we are filling it with a closed area so let us just import it you can see here the patch is got imported here. Next, we have to import the same way the bottom layer that is a ground plane. To do that, click on file, just go to import, select DXF and here you click on bottom and open this file. So now the bottom layer outline is there. We have to make it as a ground plane. So to do that, what we do, select here units as millimeters, import mode. Now we are going to add this bottom layer to the existing top layer so we are, that is the reason we are making it as add and convert these blocks into bottom so just select here bottom and make sure this fill closed area is uh, checked and then you just click on import you can see now uh, the ground layer is also imported into uh, the pcb layout next uh, lastly we have to import the vrs to do that Click on File, Import, select DXF and click on this VR and import it. Okay, open. So VRs are there here. Here again it is in millimeters. Import mode is uh, you have to select add only because this layer also we are adding into the same design. Then we have to convert this blocks into convert this block into uh, pad holes. Click on this pad holes, okay, and then just click on import you can see now the bottom layer there's a bottom layer there's a top layer and the vias you can see here the eight vias appearing so that is uh, importing is done now we have to convert them into gerber so to do that what we do we'll just click on this file Click on export and select Gerber. Here you just select top and make sure the offset value is 0 and 0. So then export layer. You can just go to that uh, desktop. Okay, so you can uh, see or you can create a new folder also, it doesn't matter. So I'll just select that folder here. Okay. So here I'll just put one top dot GBR. Okay, click on save. Next, similarly select the bottom layer, export layer. Okay, so here two bottom dot GBR will be saved. Then we have to go for VR saving. So to do that, close this one. Just click on file. Here select export. You just select NC drill. And here you have to make sure offset is 0 and 0 then you just export it so click on s and you can see here the name is true dot drl for this click save now close it okay now all the three files are converted into 
Gerber files. Okay. As a next step, now we have to confirm whether the files that what we have exported as Gerber are uh, fine or not. So to do that, what I do, I will just uh, close this project. Okay. So I will just uh, uh, say create a new project here. It is asking, do you want to save changes? If you want to save, you can just save it uh, with some name you can give here. Okay, so I'll just go to desktop and DXF's demo. I'll just select here. You can just uh, save here. Uh, project one something I'm giving. Let us save it. Now it is asking for creating an empty layout. Click OK. So let us uh, bring back all the Gerber files that what we have created to just confirm whether they have uh, come in a proper format or not. So to do that, click on file, click on uh, import, select here Gerber. You see here, so the top Gerber I'm bringing, say you've got a top layer, okay? So select here mode as new and convert this into top layer, just import it. You got a top layer. Similarly, go to file here, import, say Gerber, bottom layer. So this is a bottom layer. I'm just going to bring. So let us click on open. So you can see here the bottom layer has come. We just make this as a mode as a add and then select convert to bottom. Okay. So just click on import. So now we can see the bottom layer has got imported. So now lastly, we will bring that uh, through dot DRL. So for that click file, you just import. Okay. Then just click on NC drill. You see here we have that uh, through.drl. Just click on open. You can see here that has come. And here you can see import mode. You have to change to add and then click import. You got the entire design back here in terms of um, Gerber's. Okay, so this is all about how to convert uh, the antenna which is designed in HFSS into first DXF files and then the DXFs are further converted into .gbr files for any CNC machine uh, fabrications. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video to your friends. Thank you.